Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mega Aquarium. Back to Mega Aquarium, I suppose. This is one of the games that I played earlier on the channel back in the day. It is an aquarium management game. I can, even as I say it, I can understand some people probably don't like the sound of that, but others probably froth it if you're a weird old man like me. <laughs> like, I'm not that old, but I feel that I'm getting into these weird sim games a lot more. Anything management's great. Anyway, Mega Aquarium is a phenomenal game. I had a great time with it. It's had a new update, a DLC called Freshwater Frenzy, which introduces a totally new campaign. We're going to go into there now and give it a go. Um, I didn't finish the main game on the channel. Um, I'm planning on playing a big chunk of this. This is the next sort of season that I'm doing at the moment. Um, we've already, I've already recorded Cultus Simulator Exile and Kerbal Space Program in 10 episode blocks. But I need a little bit of breathing space, especially for Kerbal, because already there are comments coming in telling me, uh, you know, actual helpful stuff that I want to hear. So I'm going to let that run for a few more episodes before I pick up another season on it. So for now, we're going to start playing this and I'll get a good uh, probably 10 episodes out of this because um, I know for a fact that this is a great game and this should be interesting. It introduces fresh water as a component, I believe breeding and, and splicing of genes and all that sort of stuff. So let's do it. Help this small aquarium something. Welcome. Oh my God. Let's see how much I can remember about how to play this game. I'm sure it's a bit like riding a bike. Welcome to Hitama. The owner of this small saltwater aquarium wants to... Ex oh, I still remember this song. This is so chill. Oh, it, okay, cool. Anyway, sorry, it's such an earworm. Uh, the owner of this small saltwater aquarium wants to explore the exciting new world of freshwater exhibits, and they need your help. As you design their new displays, you'll learn the subtle differences between saltwater and freshwater care. As you proceed, you'll need to complete various tasks to increase the selection of freshwater animals available to you. Only then will you be able to grow Hitama and an aquarium renowned for both its saltwater and freshwater exhibits. Your first task. The owner has already secured access to two freshwater species. Your first task is to build a tank to house them. Complete this objective first and then open the aquarium. Look at this bloke. How cool does he look? I'm not a fish aficionado. You know, I'm scared of them in Subnautica, which we should probably play through that as well. Um, to access fresh water, click the following toggle in the livestock menu. Okay, it's just a flick switch. The toggle is present in all menus and make sure that only objects which are compatible with freshwater tanks are shown. That's wonderful. Okay, cool. So, oh my God, look at this setup already. It's so good. All the, they're, they're like food. And uh, yeah, okay, cool. Build a tank with. Um, well, I've already got tanks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are all these tanks salt water already? Oh, they're already populated and everything, aren't they? Oh my God. Okay. Let's not mess with any of that. Build a tank with all of these things. Okay, we can do that. Um, all right, tank. Where's my toggle? Or maybe that's only in the livestock thing. There it is there. I guess tanks don't really matter, right? Yeah. We could just do a basic tank and just get the ball rolling. Will all that crap fit? Let's try it. Let's find out. Um, I guess I could put it like there. There'll be room for people to squeeze past. Alright. Build a tank with at least one convict chick chicklid. That must be my new bloke. Freshwater? Look at him. Okay, cool. Freshwater. Now, we've got Shola, so he needs to have a group of at least four of them. So we're probably not going to fit it all in that bloody tank. And these three sides as well. Oh my god, they're quite large. Animal eats bloodworm. So, he's, he needs four. Oh wait, needs to be in a group of at least four, or singly or in a pair. Wait, so can he go on his own? Can, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, that temperature is being serviced by that over there. That's a pump for that. 
Oh, that's cool. It's always good to see how they set up their tanks so I can copy them. Usually I build like a service room nearby. Let's let's just bloody expect let's not mess around here. Let's extend this. Right. And I'm gonna build a little service room off to the side. Presumably I start with a pump. Basic pump. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Um, so I'm just gonna put a pump over here, and what that does is it's like it's almost like wiring electricity in games, right? That allows me to put down filters and temperature regulators remotely. Jeez, imagine going into this game blind. At least I know a little bit. Alright, so we're just going to put... Um, we'll go a combi mini, which combines both, and hopefully that's enough. Yeah, there you go. All the warnings went away, so that's good news. Um, yeah, the fish seems okay. That's crazy that he's a shoulder that has to... So I guess he's not allowed to be three? Is that what it's saying? It was four or more, or one or two. That's so weird. All right, let's put a guppy in there with him as well. I'm assuming... Look at you. Aren't you gorgeous? I didn't I didn't read what you do, but that's okay. Right. We're going to need to put some leaf... Leafiness in there. Uh, I guess we want to put freshwater leaves in there, do we? Yeah. Yeah, look at the paint jobs and that. Okay. We're going to put an Amazon sword in there. Oh, has it got a different coloured bottom because it's freshwater? That's cool. That helps me know at a glance what's going on, maybe. Okay, cool. Uh, now we need brine and bloodworm. So if we go down to... This is what we got to feed them. Bloodworm dispenser. We'll put it... No, no, no. How can I... Can I rotate? We'll put it in the... In the dis... There you go. That's easy. Q&E rotates. And, uh, what's that? A brine shrimp dispenser. Hire additional staff optional. It's probably a good idea. Uh, I never really found running into money being, like, a, a, a problem. I just kind of went ballistic and hired bulk staff. How do I hire staff? Uh, it's... Oh, it's, it's gonna be this one down here. Very good. Hire. You'll do. One more. Um, and you know what? Let's let's just keep this neat and tidy. Alright. Look at that. And uh, I could use a door. Staff door. Look at that. Oh, you can't make that stuff up. Alright, let's go. Great work! You just built your first of many freshwater tanks. Oh, thank you, game. As you can see, building freshwater tanks is a lot like building saltwater ones. However, there are some differences. Sorry, I had a hiccup. For example, you might have noticed that you can't put saltwater plants in a freshwater tank. You need special freshwater ones for that. Yes, I did notice that. On the other hand, items like caves and rocks can be put in either type of tank, with the exception of live rocks. What's a live rock? Well, I guess we'll find out. Another difference is that the protein skimmers do not work on freshwater tanks. Oh, okay. That's almost like a CO2 scrubber recycler thing. It, I'm just sort of trying to think of a parallel to explain it. You put it in and it digs crap out of the water and puts it back in, basically. I, I believe. Um, I think... Well, you don't put it in, actually. You, put it, you attach it to a pump, just like heating. Um, and it probably goes without saying... Oh, actually, no, I'm talking about my bum. I believe it's actually a purifier. Is it a purifier? It sort of it makes the water quality even better. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And it probably goes without saying that you can't connect salt water and freshwater tanks with pumps. You can't connect tanks to each other. That's interesting. Is the game trying to tell me that you can connect two tanks? Well, you could too. I guess so they can't be serviced by the same pump. Is that what it's saying? I guess. I've never really thought about what the pump even does. It's clearly doing some sort of water recycle to pump it through. Hmm. Okay, so that makes sense that they can't be on the same pump network. That's cool. I've never really had to think about it. Uh, remember, you can toggle la-di-da. Okay, well, that's cool. So, now you pick your science project that you work towards, right? Um, large heater, large filter. Give me the filter. That'll do. And you can see down here, you're working towards that, and you get these from having certain fish look pretty, basically. Some will give you science, some will give you other stuff like prestige. 
so that's how you essentially level up your tech tree is by having juicier, sexier, happier fish that people come and go and have a look at it and you get more research. It's a game, don't overthink it. Um, the owner is pleased with your first tank, but they are impatient to see more. <laughs> okay. You now have your final objectives. You must increase the... Oh, this music gets me going. It's good. We need to go back to the clubs when this uh, pandemic's over. Um, you now have your final objectives. You must increase the overall variety of freshwater animals in the aquarium and also ensure your freshwater exhibits are central in your aquarium design. A certain proportion of prestige must come from your freshwater displays. Oh, okay, there's a wrinkle. The first step is to reach rank five to increase your access to freshwater animals. Yes, you'll still need to build saltwater tanks to increase your overall prestige. Okay, sure. Also, keep an eye on your message log as you'll be offered opportunities to access more animals and objects by completing optional objectives. Okay, cool. So side quests. So reach rank five, freshwater species, and form of oh, from freshwater displays. Okay, cool. Okay, well, we can do that. All right, what are we going to unlock here? Well, I need more freshwater species, so I'll take him. Thank you, sir. Um. Where is he? Oh, no, no, I, I picked my research. I didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. I guess we'll just let it all sort of run. Now, we've got those in there. One thing that I always found was a helpful tool was, uh, was it clicking on the prestige? Guest thoughts. This. You can oversaturate and you get negative prestige if they get bored of seeing something too much. So that's worth keeping in mind. Now, I've got five of them. I don't have any of these. A rural grammar. I'll put him in there. Is he happy? I think he's happy. Oh, I do have rural grammars. Hang on. Game's lying to me. I thought it said I had none. Oh, I have to mouse over it to know? Okay, cool. A bleak lined dotty back. What's this? Dislikes con... Conge congeners. I think... I don't know what they are. But that's right. We'll figure it out. Let's put him in there. Oh, okay. That's bad. What have we done? There are congeners in there. Okay, my bad. Sorry, buddy. Um, can I put you in there? Are you going to be more agreeable in there, big fella? He looks pretty happy in that one. So that's good. So I just want to sort of get everything so I've got as many different bonuses as possible. Red tail butterfly fish. Let's pop that in there. How do you feel about that, buddy? Happy? He seems pretty happy. All right, that's good. And you can you can zoom in and have a bit of a squeeze at them, you know? There they are, little fellas. Oh, look, there's my, my little freshwater ones. He's wiggling his tail. I don't know, do fish do that? Fish don't wag tails, do they? Jesus. Is that a stupid question? I don't know. I don't know much about fish. Just what I've seen in the bottom of a saltwater filter in a warship. And that, those aren't fish. Those are, those are aliens, I'm telling you. Anyway. Oh, here we go. A knuckle hermit crab. Let's put that bloke in there. Yeah? Oh, mate, he loves it. Look at all those prestige points we're getting. Where's me hermit crab? I want to see him. Can I rotate? Oh, there he is. There he is there. Get, get your head out of the way, love. Look at him going. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, oh, Jesus. Sorry, sir. Look at this. I can just get inside the tank, can I? Nice. This is the way to do it, I reckon. All right. Oh, hello, fishies. Oh, that's sick. And I can just zoom back out just like that. That is actually really intuitive and it works quite smoothly all right but that's it i've got i've got every type of fish available to me out there the only other thing i need is these let's make sure we've got all of this because for whatever reason people are like oh geez i like looking at those rocks let's put a barrel in there yeah that looks good 
I mean, we could put the barrel in the corridors as well, but I'm sort of like, ah, we'll stick it in there. We put a life ring in there. That's cool. That looks cool. I mean, that'd probably make more sense as decoration out here. Put a, a conch, big shell. I'll oh, put another shell, we'll put one there. And then, uh, oh, an anchor. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Little Sammy the, the, the hermit crab, he's hanging around in the anchor. Alright, cool. Mate, we should be earning, we should be earning hand over fist now. Look at that, reach rank 5, come on. So, I might just speed that up. Oh, okay, you can... That's cool. Oh, I've got a, I've got a message. Corkscrew Valis for sale. What is that? Tied it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I buy it? Three for a hundred and... It's a deal. Oh. They're for fresh water, right? Oh, no, I'm not going to fit them. Hang on. Can I move this shell? Well, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna need a new tank, I think. Let's get a lagoon tank. You know, so we've got something different. Can I just get that out of the way? I'm sure I can come back to that message. Um. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's right. One one square for walking space is plenty, I think. So that's a deeper tank. I can put, you know, cooler things in. Look at that. Thank you, game. Oh, yeah, look at all that prestige I'm getting. What are people thinking? I really like the... Oh, no, look at that. That changed. That King Demazel looks stressed. Where? Zebra More. No, it's not him. It's not in that tank. Oh, oh look, the King Demazels are upset. Why are you upset, guys? What's going on? Wimp. Cannot be present with a bully. Bully is present. Oh, who's the bully? I bet it's you, isn't it? Bully. The the dotty back. I thought we had a good setup there, mate. Alright. How are we going to go over here? Oh, he's bullying people over here, too. God damn it. Alright, well, I'm going to get a basic freshwater tank. And we're going to put you in it, mate. Or a saltwater tank, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, can that pump service more than one thing? I don't think it can. Let's put the uh, combo mini on it. Yep, happy with that. Very good. Let's uh, get some. What does he need? Three of that. Oh, we'll just give him some bloody rubble, right? Oh, we we'll give him a cave. We'll give him a cave because we don't have many caves in the. Oh no, a driftwood. No, no, that counts as a cave. What I want is rock. There we go. Look at that. Mate, he's a happy bloke now. No one to bash up anymore. 
Um, yeah, this is all good news. We'll, we'll turn this into a bit of a staff room as well. Excuse me, miss, I can't have you going in there. Look at that, perfect. See, and so that's lucky I checked um, the guest thoughts. Tank five looks a bit lifeless. Is that this tank here? It is. All right, hang on. Let's put the guppy in there. Oh, okay. Um, Right, so what I think I can do is... I think I can attach that pump to... That as well, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Okay. Um, Alright, well, let's put another combi mini on that. Oh, it needs more temperature. Um, put a basic heater on it. Perfect. Oh, whoops, hang on. Can I, like, just press M or something? Oh, I can. That's so good. Alright, I think we're good. Shouldn't pump four be hidden out of the way? I think someone saw it when I turned it all on by accident. Yeah, yeah. It is hidden. That will, like, that warning will fade, I suppose. Tank five looks a bit lifeless. No, no, we fixed that. I put life in it. All right, here we go. What's this? I might. Oh, that's the one I, I queued up. Very good. Panther groper, or a volant volant's lionfish. Oh, that's right. They can eat each other. Oh, that's no good at all. Oh, well, let's get you, mate. You just unlocked the Midas Ch Ch Chiclid. Midas Chiclids are territorial, which means they can share tank with each other, but only up to a point. If you cram too many of them into too small a tank, they'll start to fight. Okay. Nice. I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's get one and put him in the new lifeless tank, eh? What's this? Because there are no vegetables left in the aquarium. Oh, hang on. We can fix that. Put that in there. Mate, no problem. Absolutely no dramas. How are we going here? That guppy looks stressed. Shit, is the guppy getting bullied? Man, this is a hard bit of work. Let's just put him over here and see how that goes. He, he was happy over there before. That guppy looks stressed. Okay, I really like that driftwood cave. Well, you know what that means. Let's get some more. I think, um... I think we've already got everything, haven't we? Oh, no. I only did the freshwater section. Oh... Hang on, let's uh, let's get some of these in. A sea lettuce, yeah, we could we could use a sea lettuce. Um, no, no. Eelgrass, kelp, yeah, everyone loves kelp. And sea grapes, oh wow, I bet can they fit there? Oh no. I'm going to struggle to fit me sea grapes in. Um, it's alright, I'll buy a new tank purely to put sea grapes in. 
That's that's just strange, isn't it? Uh, let's expend the house a bit. Um, let's get a new tank. Basic. Lagoon. Let's get a lagoon tank for seawater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Rocks, driftwood caves. Now, people liked my driftwood cave before, right? So let's have another one. Nice. Whee! We got a large filter. That'll come in handy. Let's get a large heater as well. Alright. We're getting there. How's this going? Tank 7 looks a bit lifeless. Yeah, fair enough. That guppy's not stressed anymore, is he? No, I only had the one guppy. Um, what if I like start pulling some of you blokes out? Flame anglerfish. Let's put him in there. Oh, he's not happy with that. And can you blame the man? Can we reach there? I think we can just. Yeah, perfect. How do I delete this? It's not that. Maybe I have a bulldozer tool or something. There we go. Oops. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's sharing its filtration. That's cool. Basic heater. Oh, no good. Get rid of that. Power heater. There we go. Everyone wants that. Got to stay warm. There we go. Where my aquarium go? It's just kicking goals now. Alright, what do the people have to say? No, 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 these will pass. Hey, rank up. Oots, let's go. What's this? Oh, vending machines? Nice. Feather Calerpa? Okay. Um, nets, palm tree, rivet. Oh, this is just a. Okay, this is just things. Okay, that's fine. Available to research. Look how much stuff. Let's go! Alright, rank up. Nice job getting to rank five. You can now unlock a bunch of new freshwater animals using your ecology. But that's not all. From this rank onwards, you have. Oh, geez, I've got a whole bunch of missed messages as well. Shit. You have, uh,. Access to accessories, powerful new tools to help optimize your aquarium. Accessories can be equipped on staff to improve their performances. Complete the optional objective if you feel like giving the new backpack accessory a try. Yeah, okay. I do. I do. I feel like I've made a mistake missing all the mail. Rainbow fish. Oh yeah, look at that. I want that. It's truly delightful. It can be tricky. Okay. Objective requirements. Oh, so if I go, I'll give it a shot. It gives me a secondary objective. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Oh, my fit, my, my cowfish are getting big. Zebra moray eel could not grow up. No. I oh, could not grow up as well. Longhorn cowfish three in tank three. We got a problem. Longhorn cowfish three. Built bullying. Okay. Poor water quality. That's all right. We can work with that.
Oh, must be adjacent to a pump. Um, not enough, bugger. We need a power filter. All right, he should be able to grow up now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I guess I can just cancel that now that I know. Yeah, delete. So we've got a Moray Eel in tank three as well. Moray Eel two. Oh, okay, hang on. What are we gonna do here? Let's, uh. Perfect. Right? And then, uh. Where was I? I was in my email. Wait. Okay, cool, right? And then I guess, you know, they'll just start growing. Alright team, how good is this game? Mega Aquarium, uh, Freshwater Frenzy, the DLC campaign that's been added recently. Looking forward to really chipping away at this, I'm, I'm loving it already. Team, thanks again for joining me, we might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.